clearing now, Captain. Definitely Federation Starship. Accessing registry. Looks like they had a rough ride. NCC 1701C. USS Enterprise. Hey, welcome back uh, to update number four of the USS Enterprise, NCC 1701C, yesterday's Enterprise. Uh, this is going to be a real quick start uh, to this. What I'm doing is actually finally attaching the nacelles to the rear pylons. And again, the way I did it, I saw uh, showing you earlier how I trenched this out. So here's just going to give you a quick example of what I'm going to do. Um, so using my super glue here on the inside, just a quick dab over the top of that, along with the kicker that I keep here in my syringe, and then let that set up for a second. And then I'll bring the other set of wires, and they are trenched in. Um, Again, there's two circuits in each nacelle. There's the circuit for the Bassard collector, the nav light, and the um, and the uh, chiller grill, and then the circuit for the circuit for the strobe. So basically, I've brought them up through the pylons. Get another quick shot of super glue and a shot of kicker. And that'll set up for a second here. So I've already glued this batch in here for the, the other side. And now we're just kind of routing wires and, and trying to get them to where they'll fit through this trench. And really I only need to fit through the trench uh, where that sits right there. So bringing again this other set here forward. And now hitting that with a little bit of my Gorilla Glue Super Glue. And my kicker. And we'll let that sit for a second. And then same thing here with the next batch. And since this is magnet wire, you can almost twist it together, but I'm basically bringing that in. Super glue over the top. And one more kicker here. Now, because these uh, pylons are two pieces, now in essence what I can do is go in and epoxy this, and epoxy this piece, and when that's set in, uh, essentially what I can do is just slide this over the top, slide it down into the nacelle on both sides, and I've got all four of my wires coming out, or actually eight wires, four sets coming out into the uh, into the uh, hull, into the secondary hull. And now I can go ahead and uh, finish uh, sanding and sanding these for the primer. And then I can prime this piece and then start painting this as a sub-assembly. We'll get all this painted up as a sub-assembly and then uh, when we're ready we'll slide that into the hull for uh, additional pieces there. But that is uh, the first uh, part of getting these uh, nacelles together. And actually, uh, I will give them this. That, that works really nice. I have to say that those look good. I don't think there's going to be a problem with, um, with uh, one being keyed up over the other as far as a drooping nacelle, hopefully. Again, I'm going to line those up with a level and make sure that they're, they're doing what they need to do. But uh, for the most part, you can see that that's what uh, that you're going to look like. That seam will pop down and seal up. And uh, uh, so when I'm going to let that super glue dry on those wires for a, a while and cure while I go paint in the other room. And I've already got some paint onto the primary hull. 
and uh, I'll show you that next in the uh, in the next part of this update number four. So in the meantime, stay with me. We'll be back shortly. Okay, welcome back to the uh, sloppy modeler. Uh, we're in uh, part four of our build of the USS Enterprise, the 1701C, NCC 1701C. The uh, progression is as such. The secondary hull here has been um, pretty well primed, and I did use one more batch of this Mr. Surfacer here on a couple of areas, and essentially I had just some primer spots that uh, uh, I wasn't real happy with and so by using this it's able to actually work as it's so thick it works as a fill and so essentially just putting it in there and you can see it's giving me just enough and then what I'll do is go back and, and back sand that when it's when it's all said and done now that is not water based uh, so you need a solvent when you uh, clean it up um, because it's uh, it's based on uh, lacquer thinners and so forth, so I just use a little bottle of uh, methyl ethyl, methyl ethyl ketone, I think it is pronounced, but I'm no chemist. And then just a couple quick wipes in there with the brush, and you're cleaned up and ready to go. It's about time for me to change that out, anyways. But uh, and then I'll rinse it out with water. And again, I just keep a little batch of water here handy most of the time. And my brushes go back to clean just that quick. So that is one way of staying a little bit less sloppy. Uh, and, and I have uh, both the methyl ethyl and I also have um, paint thinner when I use it. So those are, are my solvents here that I keep at the bench. All right, uh, so what is going on? Um, that is ready to, to uh, sand down for maybe a final time and coat up. And then here is... Uh, progress on the saucer. To sand that again. And so what I've got uh, so far here, what you're looking at, and I'll tell you what kind of decisions I made. So this is taped over, so the very first smallest part of this is white. And then uh, the hull color I chose, what I did is I took my light gray, which wasn't light enough. It was, it was way too dark even for light gray for me for this hull. I didn't like the color that was coming out. So what I did is I took my Martha Stewart's Mother of Pearl, and that's got a really bright white, but it's a Mother of Pearl. But it wasn't quite the right shade or tone, so I took about 80% uh, Mother of Pearl and 20% of light gray right here and mixed that in my, my batch, and that is my base hull color. So I finally was able to come up to my base hull color and, and pull that together. Again, 80% uh, Pearl, 20% of the light gray. And that really seems to work work really nice. So that is done. Some of my accents, I'm going to use uh, this Martha Stewart Champagne, which is in a metallic. Uh, and that's going to be some of the accents, uh, like maybe the base on the lifeboats, and then put the decals over that just to bring that uh, kind of a different shade or a different color. Uh, and what I'm doing is, uh, as the paint dries, I, I now have a coat of pale blue-gray. And that's next to this... Um, Let's back up just for a second. I've got a coat of um, RLM gray on the tiny little circle that goes a pinstripe around this first hull. Then I have light gull or light pale gray, pale blue gray, is been painted in the section here. The next step will be to tape this off at this point, and I want to make sure you can see that. So the next point is to tape this off. Um, right there to that point. Tape that whole center section off after this uh, paint's dry. It's going to take a little bit longer. Then paint a uh, light, that uh, dark gray around there. And then I'll tape that off and then go to the next section with, I believe, that is back to the, the standard hull color there where the phasers are at. Yeah, as a matter of fact. So that'll go back to that. 80% pearl, 20% light gray, and so we're, we're getting our bullseye pattern as we go along here. Now from a Starship design pattern, I don't know why you would put a bullseye right on your sensors and then right on the uh, hull on the top. And as I flip that over, uh, I hear the collective gasp and shock that goes through the uh, crowd. So what in the world color do I have there? Well, that color 
is the mermaid teal from Martha Stewart and uh, I discussed a little bit in update number three what I did for that but the reason I did so is because of the hull color of these colors here that when you put that next to each other the darkest part of that the darkest part of that green is is almost right at where that teal is at and to me this is going to draw the whole thing together so the top has got uh, white and then the pale blue gray which has been taped off now the green and then I'll have to probably let that sit overnight that this Martha Stewart's takes a bit to harden up uh, so once that's hardened up I'll tape off the next section. I already painted this here uh, with the hull color. You can see the, kind of the difference between um, the primer color. You can see the difference between the primer color and the hull color right there. So I need to tape off, again, this little pinstripe. I hear I started it, but I, just, I decided to wait because I'm going to rip my paint up if I don't. Uh, I'll tape that off and then paint that pinstripe, this, again, this, this gray. And then I'll tape that off, and then we come to the next color after that, which I believe, again, is... And again, we're making progress. Yes. So the next color out would be the pale blue-gray just below the windows. So we'll have pale blue-gray, uh, this teal, the, champ or the mother of pearl hull color, pale blue-gray out to around the window. So... Um, the nice thing about that is that I, as I paint a layer, tape it, and move out, tape it, move out, tape it, move out, and it, it keeps you from taping and retaping, and, and just you can just kind of go out. Now the big key is is do you pull your paints off if you let that sit for a couple of days on there? I hope not. Uh, there is a way to do that without it, and that is between each coat. Like instead of moving forward now, I could put a coat of clear over this, clear lacquer that would seal it, and then come back. But I I. I hope I don't have to do that because that's kind of a big giant pain in the, the took us. Okay, so that is the color that I chose. Uh, please don't crucify me, but I, I agonized over that for days on how to do that color. And I think with what I've chosen, I'm going to be, it's my model and I'm going to do it my way, I guess, at this point. But I think with where I'm at, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be good with that. Uh, and then, you know, after this, what I think I'll do is as an accent color, like in here and these vents, I think I'm going to use the champagne. I, either the champagne or just pure uh, Martha Stewart's pure pearl. Either one is going to look fantastic in there uh, for the highlights. Uh, and then, of course, we'll paint the phaser strips as we come to that. Uh, we're letting this dry, and you can see it, it's already kind of drying across. Um, and I turn it in light. I can see my. Uh, I can see my seam just poking through there a little bit so I'll let that sit for another couple of hours for that that to harden up and then I'll run my my sander uh, my stick sander across there this is actually a fingernail file but it works great as a sander I'll run that across there and then this is is and then a shot of white primer and uh, that is ready to spray that is ready to spray paint uh, the hull color because this here has already been painted that right there has already taped off and been painted the same color as that green. So that's going to work. And I've decided to go ahead and use the decals for the windows in here because of a couple of things. Those decals have got dark windows or black windows in there. So rather than going through and, and cleaning them up like that, what that allows me to do is punch out where the windows are here. I'd use a little, you know, Stanley knife. Punch those out where there's windows over it. But there, where the windows aren't, I can uh, use the black portion of it, and we'll see how that goes. But it's going to give me my base blue with the dark green teal lines there, and uh, this is ready to spray the same color of the hull. There's virtually no light leaks when you turn this on. I'm not going to do so now, but that is a, a big plus. So in update number four, we are moving ahead with actually adding paint. And uh, like I said, I'm, I, I really like the color that this uh, Enterprise C is. I know that a lot of them are blue, but because of those decals from PMT are green, I just felt it would blend nicer and not to clash, and it would look better as a, uh, as a dark green teal. So we will continue more work on the model, some sanding, and uh, then we'll tape this off and, and continue on, um, 
continue on spraying from there. So uh, join me again soon and stay with me. Thank you. Okay, hey, welcome back to uh, the Sloppy Modeler. Uh, we are in update uh, number four. I want to bring you up to speed on the secondary hull and the pylons along with the nacelles. So coming out of the paint shop, uh, I am really uh, thrilled with uh, the look of that uh, of that color. That color is uh, 30, or I'm sorry, it's it's uh, 15 to 20 percent pale gray and another uh, 80 to 85 percent uh, Martha Stewart's pearl, uh, mother pearl. And that combination it gave me uh, an awesome hue and it's actually, now that I see it, I, this is the, precisely the color I'm going to paint uh, my USS uh, NCC 1701D, the Enterprise D that I have, the clear uh, because that will absolutely look fantastic with uh, too many people or a lot of people go way way too blue on that but I've got the full set of decals that are really blue already and I think that'll provide a muted contrast with that uh, uh, NCC 1701D decals and this will look nice under that green for the NCC 1701C here that I'm working on. So uh, what I've got uh, is the secondary hull uh, has been sealed and painted and uh, I just went through and scraped uh, the inside of this here with all the paint off of that and the paint off the back here because it actually matches up to that piece there. So the next step is to slide this back in, do an outline, and then scrape the paint away from, from what's remaining inside of here. Or I might use MEK for that, I'm not sure. Um, and then that will give me a great paint to, uh, plastic to plastic bond once this goes in and it's going to be pretty close around here it's going to take just a bit of putty to fill in and then once that's filled in a uh, quick shot of, uh, of paint over the top of that and uh, we're going to be off uh, and running uh, pretty pleased with the way that this turned out as far as these seams here uh, the paint uh, covered those really nicely after quite a bit of sanding and filling with uh, uh, filling with uh, uh, putty and uh, you know then I'll paint in the black details there again electric blue I think is what I'm going to use and uh, so uh, for that matter this has turned out uh, better than I expected quite honestly and uh, I think this is going to be really nice once the, the the two halves are joined so for now that is uh, a quick update on the paint on the secondary hull and the pylons and it's come together quite well these fit really well when they go in and then uh, once these are, are connected and glued up I'll start the putty process, I'll also start the wiring process so that we can start running uh, just one wire, uh, condense uh, uh, two sets of these to one, this to one and so I've got one wire rolling out for the, the secondary hull and then we'll just have uh, one coming in, two coming in from the uh, primary hull. The goal is to only run two wires down into the base, one for uh, the majority of the lighting and then one for the um, for the strobes, and there's the strobes in each of these back here uh, that'll go in later on. Uh, I am going to throw on a really couple, three or four coats of. I'm going to put on three or four coats of future, uh, or it's pledge Re renew. I think is the name of it, uh, and really, really gloss this up. There's so many decals on here. I really want this to gloss up in a big way. And once it's glossed up, then I can add the decals. But I'll do that after these two parts are joined. The saucer, I'll join that at the very end and then um, figure out how to, to, to do that seam in there. There's a big light leak between the saucer and the neck when that goes together. So that's going to take some doing. But for now, this is how the uh, initial paint has turned out. That's just got a really nice sheen to it and, uh, a, really <coughs> excuse me, and a really nice color. So we'll be back with you shortly. Thank you. Okay, uh, a little more progress is being made here. So the colors that I've got are blue-gray on, on the B deck, and then my uh, mermaid teal on the C deck, my uh, standard hull color in this little winglet here that's taped over, and then the gray, uh, actually I'm using deep sea gray, or light sea gray on the pinstripe and now 
I've put a coat of blue-gray on the first row here, and that, that row actually stops right beneath the windows, and I think it actually stops one trick below the windows. So that blue-gray uh, will dry. It just came off the paint uh, booth. That's about dry there, and that's a Model Master blue-gray, pale blue-gray. And then on the bottom, um, we've got our paint that is the hull color again here out to the first ring and then uh, we'll tape that off and then here's our next uh, here's our next pinstripe that goes all the way around there so we'll paint that off and uh, I really like that paint that's kind of ready to almost paint up and uh, we're making progress there so uh, good progress on the primary hull uh, as that comes together so that's dry underneath there <clears throat> under the Secondary hull, yeah, that's what I thought, a couple little scuff marks, but that's okay, because that's got to be painted one more time. Uh, this has been, ooh, and I see that I have split my seam, kind of like I've done in pants, so that is, uh, I don't know if that happened, wow, uh, that is not cool. Uh, I think that probably happened when I put the clamp on there, and I pushed that down too far and it clamped that in. So I'm going to have to do some fill and putty work there in a big way. Oh, that is disappointing. Yep, that is hugely disappointing. Uh, unfortunate. So I'm going to have to sand that down, fill that with putty, and do. A, uh, and now I've got these pylons in the way and everything else. So that is, uh, that is unfortunate because that was looking so nice. And now that's just has caused me grief the whole way up. So I'm going to have to strip that, I think, with uh, strip that with a, a knife or a back of a blade. Strip that whole thing so the putty will actually stick to it. Fill that in and then um, resand, 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 and hopefully come back to a semblance of where that that's going to go. So that is uh, uh, really, really sad that that happened. So. Let me go to work on that, and I'll be back with you shortly. Thank you. Oh, welcome to USS Enterprise. Uh, we're in part four, second half of part four update, and uh, working on the paint. And uh, so at this stage, it is a crapshoot of what's going to happen when I peel this tape off. Uh, it might peel up like that. It might be in one piece. Uh, I just don't know. So that's going to be... Uh, a hello moment and, and we'll figure it out if it does we'll tape off again and touch up and continue the, the efforts we've made at this point uh, in the paint of the upper hull uh, we have uh, made a lot of progress so on the upper hull here I guess we'll orient it like this essentially where we're at at this point is that the uh, the uh, uh, a, or B, A, the deck, the bridge, and the A deck have been painted uh, my pale blue gray. Uh, then the C deck has been painted uh, my aqua marine, uh, or mermaid uh, aqua. What the hell color is this? Mermaid teal. That's right. And then I painted uh, the white in this area right here, and that's just a little tiny. And then the gray pinstripe. Uh, and then the uh, pale blue-gray again for the next section out, for these two sections out. And then, of course, our uh, teal, back to our mermaid teal. And now I've taped off for these keystones. And uh, the next step would be to paint the upper section of the hall, including uh, the sidewalls with all of their lights, including the sidewalls with the uh, hull color which is that uh, little light gray and you'll see in the in the back there uh, what we're dealing with uh, additionally the underside has had an error but uh, hopefully easily recoverable but I'm not sure if that's going to be the case on the underside of the uh, of the hull <clears throat> what I've done is started again with white uh, in there a little bit different from that, but I like a brilliant white on the sensor uh, and then our hull color, and then a gray stripe, and then our pale blue gray, and then a pale stripe, and then our uh, gray pinstripe, 
and then our pale blue gray and this is where I have screwed up uh, should be another section of white rather than all of this um, teal and then teal and then white so here is my plan to recover from this and again it's not too big of an error but it is not according to plan so what I can do is tape this off as a ring around here so I'll start here and you're one above you're one above the lifeboats so what I'll do is I'll run tape on the bottom and then you're one below you're at this line here below on the lifeboat so basically it's the ring of lifeboats so I'll run my tape around uh, there and there which will leave me with uh, a space to and I'll probably do a like a white primer again over this real quickly this section after that's taped off just to uh, just to make that hull color the same because that's going to be hard to cover that that mermaid teal but I'll tape that off and I'll have an inner ring and then this outer ring and I guess that's okay because uh, when I tape this off I can spray this whole bottom with a couple of real nice coats of that uh, of that uh, mix of mother of pearl and uh, 10 or 15 percent I'm gonna call it 15 percent uh, light gray so that'll leave me with the ring in the center of the green and then uh, uh, this ring here will be light gray again and then the outer ring will be light gray tying into the light gray that runs up here so we're almost there on painting the hull as far as the base colors go uh, and 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 I hope it's going to come out right uh, we'll see like I said it is a total crapshoot at the moment I went ahead and uh, patched up the secondary hull and the pylons and I'm actually kind of very pleased with and this is still kind of wet so I'm going to be careful that seam there turned out really nice along with the seam on this side is excellent I'm okay with that seam in the back it's going to be covered with that uh, really nice decal of the strong back and including giving me some uh, lifeboats across here and uh, and this will be covered by one piece and so it'll look like it'll come right to the end uh, and then a pinstripe that comes down the back these turned out pretty nice I do have a little bit of an oopsie there but uh, uh, at this stage I'm not going to mess with it hopefully the gloss will gloss have coat will take care of most of that this looks really nice as far as on the nacelles how clear that is and then of course we had our uh, crack in the middle of the back and uh, now what I've done is uh, gone ahead and filled that seam and uh, this is a little 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 teeniest bit tacky so I'm going to not touch it anymore but I filled that seam resanded it and uh, sprayed white primer over it and then sprayed it again fixed a couple of the windows up here and then resprayed uh, a couple of little spots here across the top and there and that seam even there in the around the edge I'm I'm fine with it'll be interesting to see right around here if we've got a light leak after I power this up but in essence I'm gonna fix that with uh, just a, a, a little bit of airbrush uh, maybe a little bit of micro crystal clear and airbrush and, and call it good I'm not gonna overwork that portion of it I think I'm I'm really excited how this has turned out from a color perspective and from a finish perspective uh, all the lights still work I had those up a little bit earlier and so what I really need to do is let this paint all cure out um, and and then see what happens after this cures out and we're all said and done so with that I'm going to uh, call it good on this update uh, uh, number four actually I think this is the final update for number four hopefully it's a little shorter and uh, what we'll do is we will uh, come back to you in update number five but for now with update number four we uh, thank you for subscribing and if you like what you see hit that like video uh, and uh, or like button and uh, subscribe if you uh, enjoy the modeling of the uh, USS Enterprise uh, the NCC 1701C and uh, the next step would be to actually finish the paint on the hull and then marry it to the uh, marry it to the neck do any touch up there put the front uh, wiring in get that all done and then put our deflector dish in finish that up with any putty and and seam work and then the paint for the base will be done and from there it's all detail paint and decals so until next time thank you for watching
and uh, go out and enjoy building a model. Thank you so much. Well, uh, welcome back to the uh, Sloppy Modeler. Um, we're in update number four, the painting of the USS Enterprise, uh, the NCC 1701C. And uh, I have to tell you, I am, am highly pleasantly surprised I thought I was going to uh, uh, see a bunch of paint peels and 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 lots and lots and lots of problems uh, with this paint. However, uh, I uh, am amazed at at uh, the, the, how this has come 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 out. So, uh, starting with the the secondary hull, you can see I've got that crack that was filled in and uh, and repainted, and then uh, painting along all of these. Uh, uh, side walls here, the bottom came in fantastic. All the pylons here look 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 wonderful, and uh, then of course across the top of the nacelles. And uh, I don't know if this comes out or not, but uh, the nacelles are not droopy. They they are lined up almost virtually perfect, at least by my eye, and uh, that's one that counts for anyways. But uh, my nacelles are flat. My seams uh, in the bottom here uh, turned out uh, as well as I would ever expect them to turn out. Uh, and the way that I made those seams is I actually took my super uh, narrow um, micro crystal clear syringe. And, and then I went in and I actually laid a, a fine bead all around that on the top and the bottom laid a fine bead of, of micro crystal clear and then used a q-tip to fill that in and even on the sides uh, where it comes together uh, I, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm not gonna mess with it because I'll mess it up uh, however uh, to me that is probably one of the best uh, joints that I've done with paint after the fact it doesn't uh, light bleed uh, it doesn't have any of those factors and so that is uh, the paint on the lower hull, um, or the secondary hull, the nacelles, and the pylons. The upper hull, and this is set in stages, and the only tape I haven't pulled off is, is this one here over the bridge, because uh, I flipped this over and back, over and back, over and back enough that just leaving that tape on makes sense so you don't scar up that paint that's underneath there. But in essence, what I was uh, uh, just working from the inside out, uh, the first thing I did was paint that white and then used the uh, pale blue gray for the B deck. Used my uh, mermaid teal for the C deck. And I actually just started with the champagne highlights. I've got to do some more work on those, but I think those are going to look awesome. Uh, and then uh, into my hull color, which is again the uh, pearl with the mother pearl with the light gray mix in about 85 15 mix uh, 85 mother pearl 15 um, uh, bl uh, pale gray uh, or light gray I should say mix from model masters and then uh, this is actually JN gray uh, no I'm sorry it's light sea gray is what that is for the pinstripe and I got a, just a teeny teeny tiny little touch ups there where some paint peeled away from the primer but I, I <laughs> so what that's this still looks great in my eye. Then uh, the 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 mermaid teal with the keystone look, and uh, I have a little bit of a of a of a paint intrusion here, a little bit of paint leak, but I'll I'll touch that up and one over here. Uh, regardless, that came up, and then of course the hull itself has the hull color uh, done in uh, that uh, that uh, pearl. Uh, color um, and of course my lights are coming through just just awesomely at, uh, at that point on the bottom uh, Same thing so started with the white Here and this is glass so I'm not worried about scratching that that's for the lower sensor dome And that's lit up by the way uh, And that looks pretty good in my opinion um, So the light sensor gray and then the hull color uh, and then this uh, uh, light sea gray around that pinstripe and that's probably the toughest those are the toughest pinstripes because they're super tiny super hard to tape off and, and paint uh, and i'm going to do a little bit of touch up but i'm going to be super super careful how i do that then the uh, pale blue gray back to the hull color pale blue gray hull color 
Uh, here is the green, uh, the mermaid teal again, which is the one I told you I had screwed up by painting all of that. In between uh, coats, I actually reprimed this. Uh, this was all teal from this point here out to the edge of the hull. It was all teal. After I taped that off, I went ahead and reprimed it with uh, Model Master White Primer. Because uh, I knew that this uh, pearl would take forever to cover with a whole bunch of thick coats, whereas the white primer, very much, much more opaque. And uh, and by putting that in there, it uh, it it was able to cover that green up quite quickly. And then the hull color went went really well. And then finally on the side, uh, all around the edge, um, all around the edge there, that just turned out fantastic. Uh, waiting for now the thrusters to go in and then my striping all the way around it. So the next step before I go any further is I'm gonna put uh, uh, a super hard coat of, of um, XF, nope, not white, I need to clear, uh, here it is. XF22, and uh, this uh, dries super glossy, uh, it dries super hard, and once that's dry over, over the whole hull, and it'll be interesting to see what happens over that pearlescent, I might lose some of that, uh, that gloss, maybe, maybe not, I just don't know yet, but uh, after, the, after this clear goes on, and I'm going to do the hull, the nacelles, and, the, and the, the pylons, and then I'm going to do the upper and lower hull with XF22 clear, uh, once that's done, then I'm going to begin to um, do the decaling. Uh, so we are on our way. And I think at this point, this concludes the uh, the second half of update number four for the uh, USS Enterprise, the Enterprise NCC 1701C. And the next uh, time you'll see me coming back is probably when I've got the clear gloss on it. And uh, once that's in a place, then we can begin the de detail painting um, and do the, the gloss work, or I'm sorry, the decal work, the detail painting, you know, so all these details have to be put in and painted in by hand. And, uh, and you know, so and once those are in, then that's, that's, that's pretty close to done. Then we'll put a final coat of gloss coat over the decals, and then over that final gloss coat, we will use a coat of... Uh, I think satin is the color that I'm going to go with, but uh, uh, the lights look fantastic coming through. They're all lit up. Uh, they look different colors once you get them under this gray versus the white in the primer. And uh, I think once that's uh, all said and done, I'm going to be absolutely pleased with the way that that's going to turn out. Like I said, especially once the decals are on and it brings us uh, to life. So with that. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking my videos and tuning in, uh, and thank you for commenting on uh, the sea. It's uh, a bit of a ways away, but the big challenge was all of that taping, and virtually I had the entire top taped off on the keystone, and essentially all of the bottom taped off clear out to here in order to do this kit. Uh, it's uh, almost a whole, uh, almost an entire roll of both this, so I used uh, uh, over half a roll of the Tamiya uh, 18 mil and much more than half a roll of the Tamiya 6 mil. And those were absolutely a necessity and that Tamiya tape did an awesome job of not uh, pulling that stuff uh, away. So with that we will conclude. Thank you and uh, we will see you in update uh, number five.